Hi everyone, I'm Heather Podoska, star maker to entrepreneurs who want to unlock their potential and command any stage. Welcome to Thrive, the show where I bring you tips, resources, and people to help you create a more abundant life and business. You are in for high value content coming to you from industry leaders who are growing their business, making an impact, and rocking their brands. Welcome to the show. Here we go. Hi everyone, I'm Heather Podoska, founder of the Brand Star Academy, where I teach entrepreneurs how to be powerful, profitable speakers and create their own celebrity personal brands. Welcome to this episode of Thrive, understanding your secret mission with my guest, Carlos Carrera. Carlos Carrera is the number one transformational coach of Mexico. He is a business strategist and known as the Tony Robbins of Mexico. He's a multi-time multi number Number one best-selling author and some of his books include instant business and more sales less work he has inspired over a million people throughout the US Spain Colombia and Mexico with his trainings and it was my honor to have him sitting across from me in the interview chair on this episode of thrive Carlos is a dynamo as you will see from this interview I met Carlos this summer at the Harvard Business Exp Experts Forum where I heard him speak and he was introducing some of the other speakers as well and he did their introductions in Spanish of course and I wasn't understanding everything he said but I gotta say his energy the energy and the dynamic way he presented people made me sit on the edge of my chair and I thought oh I've got to interview this guy so he came on the show it was so awesome I was at the end of a very long taping day had done several shows in a row and Carlos Carlos made special time of his schedule his driver came to the studio and brought him and it'd been a long day we'd been at this conference for several days and I'd been doing videos and he'd been doing other business meetings and he showed up to the interview like fresh as a daisy with tons of energy and it really inspired me to talk about um, the energy in the room and his energy and I really wanted to share that with you because having dynamic energy is so magnetic so on this interview you'll see that with Carlos and he talks about his energy and where it comes from we talk about that sense of mission and I talk about that a lot in my work with clients but Carlos has his own unique spin on it and he breaks it down in a way I've never heard it before so that you understand the different elements of mission and why some people get confused why a lot of people get confused about how to express that mission is your mission your business is it something in your life is it something altogether different so Carlos really breaks down what that secret mission is and what it means to have your own unique secret mission he also talks a lot about the dynamic energy that he has and how important it is to have that kind of energy in um, in business in life and he was the number one sales uh, sales representative for timeshares in Mexico and he talks about his strategy for selling and how he really uses his mission and his energy to be dynamic in closing sales as well and we really got deep on this conversation Carlos shared some of his childhood experiences that led him to do this kind of work and his experience as a business person and also his retreats and his transformational trainings throughout Mexico and now throughout the world through his different online programs so it was an incredible incredible experience to have him sit across the chair from me and share his heart his soul his energy and his expertise so I hope you enjoy this episode of thrive as much as I enjoyed doing it and also if you'd like to know more about how you can unlock your potential as a star in your industry as a true leader so that you can command higher fees so that you can attract ideal clients so you can get on bigger and better stages and platforms as a speaker and a presenter come and check out my specialized one-on-one -on -one programs to work with industry superstars who want to take it to the next level you can find out more about that by going to my website at heatherpodoska.com and clicking on the consulting tab okay Okay, 
on to this episode of Thrive. Hi everyone, I'm Heather Padaska, star maker to entrepreneurs who want to be powerful, profitable speakers. Welcome to Thrive, the show where I bring you tips, resources, and people to help you create a more abundant life and business. You're in for high value content coming to you from industry leaders who are growing their business, making an impact, and rocking their brands. And no one is rocking their brand harder than my guest, Carlos Carrera. Carlos Carrera is Mexico's number one transformational mentor and business strategist, earning him the title of Tony Robbins of Mexico. He's the founder of the Transformational Academy and the Transformational Secret Forest, which is the Disneyland of the three-dimensional transformation. He is the author of the number of numerous number one best-selling books, including Instant Business and More Sales, Less Work. He has empowered more than a million people throughout the US, Spain, Colombia, and Mexico with his audios, videos, technology platforms, and life training programs. Carlos has also been featured on various networks such as Fox, NBC, Televisa, TV Azteca, and Teleformula. Carlos is also an international speaker and was most recently featured at the Business Expert Forum at the Harvard Faculty Club. I couldn't be more excited to have the Tony Robbins of Mexico, Carlos Carrera. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Heather, you're awesome. Wow. Thank you very much for the invitation. Yeah, I'm really excited. I heard you speak at Harvard and I said, oh, I want Carlos on the show because the show is all about thriving and that's what you help people do. Exactly. So can you tell the audience what a transformational mentor is and the kind of work that you do to help people? Yes. Um, I always tell to um, the people that come and see me to see if they are going to take a training with me or not. Uh, the difference um, about a teacher, a coach, and a mentor. Mm -hmm. So let me explain this uh, by giving you an example. Uh, there was a time when I was selling uh, properties in Cabo San Lucas, timeshares, mm -hmm. fractional ownership, and I had a, a really powerful competition. I used to compete with a lot of Americans, Canadians, people from England, from Australia. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was feeling really intimidated by working with these people because some of them, some of the Americans and uh, people from Australia, they were tall, blonde, <laughs> blue eyes. They were like Superman, like <laughs> Batman. And I was feeling like the little Donk Shrek Aww. competing with all these stallions. And, and I couldn't make it. I used to compete with 150 of these uh, stallions. And I was ready to quit. And I was going to go back to Mexico City to work in, in the bank. And before I, I was ready to leave, I went to talk to the best salesman in Timeshare, in, in Cabo. Uh, he was so famous even in the Bahamas, in Orlando and Hawaii, Kenny McIntyre. Mm. And when he found out that I was leaving the industry, he said, Carlos, have a seat. <laughs> when I'm about to tell you if you listen to every word and you take massive action, we'll give you your first million dollars. Hmm. I was like, wow, I'm listening. Yeah. And he said, you've been reading a lot of books, you've been taking a lot of courses from coaches and, and, and teachers. If you want to compete with us and you want to achieve the number 1% elite level, you must go and take trainings with mentors. Mm. I was like, wow. And he said to me, a lot of people that talk about their glories of 20, 30, 40 years ago, but internet changed the rules. Mm -hmm. And now they have to prove to you that they have results. Five minutes ago, one day ago, a week ago, no, 10 years ago, 20, 30 years ago. And he gave me a list of mentors that if I will go and take train, trainings with them, mm -hmm. I will get the, uh, the results. And he gave me a list of people like Tony Robbins, Brian Tracy, Six Sigler, Roger Dodson, Mark Victor Hansen, Jack Canfield, Les Brown, Jim Rohn, Stephen Covey, Stephen K. Scott, Wayne Dyer, Deepak Chopra, and he was right. Uh, at the age of 27 years old, I became the greatest salesman in the world in the timeshare industry. I started to make sales between 200,000 to half a million dollars in an average of three to four hours. Wow. Yeah, it was incredible. And, 
and, and basically the big strategy is to take training with mentors. So what's the difference between a mentor and a coach or a mentor and a teacher? A mentor is someone that already is like in tennis. Hmm. Um, you, uh, if you want to learn how to play tennis, you can go with a coach and they will teach you how to play tennis mm -hmm. or w with a teacher. They will tell you how to stand on the court and how to play and, uh, and all that. But if you want to play Wimbledon, if you want to play, um, you know, uh, the Australia Open and all those, uh, you need to go and look for the mentor. The difference is the mentor already was one of the best 100 tennis players. Mm, mm -hmm. They know the little secrets. Yes. They know how you can perform in a better way. Mm. So that's the difference. You have to go and look for the mentor. And, and, and now every time I take trainings, I go for the mentors, for the ones that they can show me mm -hmm. and prove to me the results. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the biggest lessons in my entire life. That's amazing. And I was just talking to someone recently and they were saying, and they train world-class leaders, and he was saying the difference between the CEO and the vice president is huge, it's huge. because it's a completely different mentality. Yes. Yeah, so, and you work with people on their mindsets as well, correct? Yes. Yeah, actually, um, I had a lot of uh, powerful mentors, people that uh, used to purchase from me, Mm -hmm. And one of them told me, do you want to know a, a huge secret? He was 42 years old and he was already a multimillionaire. Mm -hmm. and, and I said, what? He said, you as a CEO, as the owner of a company, your mission is to set up the vision mm -hmm. and motivate, motivate your people. Mm -hmm. That's what the CEO should be doing. Mm -hmm. And let your vice president Take care of the rest. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, you have to have the vision. And we were just talking about that. So talk a little bit more about how can people create that vision for themselves? That's a good question. Uh, after I uh, took trainings with all these huge mentors, I realized that the root cause of why a person is going to succeed big time and most people that are going to uh, take carrots all the time mm -hmm. is their mission. Mm. Now we know that someone with a mission it has more energy than someone that just has a job. Mm -hmm. um, someone with a mission will be more resistant to uh, diseases. Mm -hmm. Someone with a mission is, um, is just going to go further. So what, what is a mission? I mean, we hear that word a lot, but what does that mean? And because you could have a mission of you know, going to the grocery store to get food for dinner, yeah. but what do you mean by mission? The secret mission in life is to know who you are, mm -hmm. why you are in this planet, mm -hmm. what's your, the reason why you came to this planet, mm -hmm. Earth. Uh, what's the thing that you can do that the rest of the 160 thousand millions of people that they've been in this world, mm -hmm. uh, the experts that say that about, uh, we've been having those kind of a human, uh, the number of human beings that we've been having on this planet. What is going to differentiate you from the rest of the world? Mm -hmm. And for me, um, one time I was at the James Mallinch um, training and I started to introduce to my, uh, myself to other people. I was like, so what do you do? Oh, I'm a coach. And what do you do? I'm a coach. And what do you do? I'm a coach. And I say, is there anybody else that does something else? Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I'm doing, I help people to find and discover a specific name. Oh. And I realized, like, you just now, now know that there's a huge different, uh, difference between a CEO and a vice president. Mm -hmm. The name makes a difference. Okay, give me an example of what that is for someone for, who isn't a CEO. Okay, well, I, I, I'll tell you uh, the example of why it's so important the name. Okay. Uh, for example, if you um, hire a coach, but he didn't do a good job, you pay him a lot of money, but he didn't do a good job. And then you try with another coach, and um, he did a good job, but he didn't, he didn't do a, 
extraordinary job. And then when you meet someone, somebody else and you go like, what do you do? I'm a coach. Automatically you go like, uh-oh. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. But when you uh, go with someone and you say, so what do you do? I'm a three-dimensional transformational mentor. What's that? <sighs> uh -huh. That's what you need to create. You need to create curiosity. Yeah. They have to come to you. And if they don't ask you, what is that? That means that you're doing something that everybody else is doing. Yes. So that differentiation is so critical because in life and business, you will never get what you think you deserve. Mm -hmm. You will always get what you can sell and negotiate. Say that again. That was really important. In life, you don't... In life, you will never get what you think you deserve, mm -hmm. but you will always get what you can sell in an effective way and what you can negotiate. Did you hear that? <laughs> and every time you're selling and negotiating, every single time, yeah. uh, from the moment that you get up and you want to go to the bathroom, who is going to use the bathroom first? <laughs> you're negotiating. Whoever runs faster. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, and that's the, uh, one of the, no uh, the number one thing. And Finding a, a specific name now um, from your secret mission in life, I think it's a critical success factor mm -hmm. in your life right now or failure. You know, it's really interesting because some of the work that I do is in branding and helping people speak is helping them with that as well. And one of the things I find, and I'm curious if you find this with the people you work with as well, is they lack the confidence to own the name they really want. Yes. They might have like in their heart of hearts, like I'd like to be called this, yes. but I can't. Yes. And I call myself a star maker. Yes. Wow. And yeah. Because it's all of the things that go into that. It's the message. See, that, that's, that's my point. Yeah. That's a very unique name. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> and then you go like, what's that? Yeah. Now, I give you a strategy. If when you say your name, mm -hmm. you don't get an orgasm, it's not working. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah. When you give your Wait, website... Do I have to do that or do the listener have to have that? No, <laughs> you. Okay. You. Well, like, for example, um, my regular name is Carlos Barroso. Mm. But Shakira, her name is not Shakira. Mm -hmm. You know, Ricky Martin. Uh, uh, I mean, a lot of people, they use a different name, like Madonna, mm -hmm. different ones. So if, you, if your name doesn't give you that or, uh, psychological orgasm, yeah. emotional orgasm, mm -hmm. that means that you need to find so something, another name that makes you feel great, mm -hmm. empowered. Yeah. It, the same thing with your website, the same thing with your book. Yeah. The name of your book. It has to give you that orgasm. You have to feel really proud. You have to feel like, like you know, you're unique, special. Mm -hmm. Because selling is, is when you pass your emotion to somebody else. Mm -hmm. And you heard that in the Business Expert Forum. Yes. People kept saying, oh my God, your energy. Oh my God, your passion. Yes. Exactly. Yes. If, if you don't feel passionate about what you do, and then that means that you have to keep searching yes. for something that gives you that psychological orgasm, emotional orgasm, and a spiritual orgasm. Can I ask you a question about this? Do you believe that that name is something, and a mission, is something that is sort of divinely pre, pre -decide, like predisposed, or is that something that you can decide? Like, I am going to decide this is my mission, or is it more that the mission is here or it's coming from here and you're trying to find it? What do you think? Uh, it can be either way. Oh. The, the, the pen, there's, uh, uh, it's so mysterious. I help uh, thousands of people to discover their secret mission in life. Mm. And sometimes your secret mission is going to come in your natural talents. Mm. But sometimes it's not going to come from your natural talents. It's going to come from your, um, this, emotional disasters. Yeah. Oprah is this uh, perfect example. You know, she was raped twice before the age of uh, 15. Mm -hmm. And 
what it gives Oprah this driving force to connect with millions of people mm -hmm. is what had happened to her mm -hmm. before the age of 15. Yes. And also, she always felt like she was not attractive and, you know, she always had uh, challenges with her weight mm -hmm. and all that. Well, that gives her that driving force to give more, to share more, mm -hmm. to be more valuable for people. Yeah. So sometimes it comes in your natural talents. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are more physical, mm -hmm. uh, you have the in, uh, physical intelligence, the uh, math, math uh, mathematic logic intelligence, the mm -hmm. linguistic, mm -hmm. the uh, musical, mm -hmm. the intrapersonal, interpersonal, yeah. or the visual, special. Yeah. Exactly. You know, and sometimes I think people undervalue those skills, and because it's not you know businessy. Right? It's not a business, it's not a hard skill, it's a soft skill. Like I know when I transitioned from trying to be a professional opera singer, I didn't value all of my stage experience. I just thought, well, what does that have to do with business? Yes. And you know, now that I, and like going to things like the Harvard Business Expert Forum and watching the speakers, I'm like, well, now I know how that's valuable <laughs> because a lot of people need help with that, you know? Yes. So I, I think that sometimes people don't know the value they have in their back pocket. Do you know why? Why? Because I do all, all this time. I help people to discover their secret mission. And, and sometimes their mission is right here <laughs> in their nose. It's right here. Yeah. But they can't see it. Yeah. you know why? Because they're very emotional involved mm. with what their parents used to say. Mm. Their teachers used to say. Their friend, you cannot do that. Are you crazy? Mm -hmm. So sometimes people that come with me and they say, Carlos, but I don't know what to do because I like dancing. I like singing. I like painting. I like photography. I like this. I like that. And I say to them, and who said that you have to do only one thing? Oh. So wait. I, I need a high five. One on that. thing <laughs> is the directive. Mm hmm. And something else are the components. Yes. Okay, so let me give you examples. Okay. I discover that my natural talent is intrapersonal, interpersonal, and visual special. Okay. Okay, those are my three main talents. Interpersonal. Yeah, intrapersonal, which means okay. I have the ability to solve problems. Okay. I'm very aware of my feelings. Okay. And interpersonal means that I, I can get along with people very well. Mm -hmm. I'm very good to talk. Mm -hmm. I'm a fast talker. Those are my natural talents. Okay? Now, that will... I, I combine that with my major failures or my major pains. Mm -hmm. In my case, I suffer from bullying, mm -hmm. big time. Mm -hmm. um, in, 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 in the school, I have really terrible grades. Mm -hmm. uh, my father used to beat me up, big time, and I was very poor. My father uh, raped my two sisters, and I uh, find out about that at the age of 13 years old. And, and he, did something to me so bad by the age, in my birthday when I turned 13 years old that I wanted to kill myself, suicide. Hmm. But rather than that, I left my home. Hmm. And now I know I'm a three-dimensional transformational mentor. My mission in life is to help people to discover their secret mission in life. Mm -hmm. And once they do it, I give them the tools to sell it, mm -hmm. to share it, to negotiate it, mm -hmm. and to create ubiquity so they can serve more, give more, share more, and be more valuable for other people. Mm -hmm. That's my mission. Mm. Now, the components that I have to do that, for example, I'm a tennis player. Mm -hmm. I love hiking. I love um, mountains, I love technology, I love selling, but that's not my mission. Mm -hmm. So the way how enrich my mission 
is by using components. Yes. Things that they give me passion, uh, but that's not my mission. For example, I, I play tennis. So rather than I write a book about tennis, that's not my mission. Mm. Uh, I have the secret forest and I have a tennis court there. And I have a, a, a partner that you saw him. Eriberto, he was at the Business Expert Forum, yes. the tennis player. Oh, yes. Okay, so we bring people and we teach them how to do energy management by learning how to play tennis. Nice. So I go, and after the training, um, I go and play with them, and we do business playing tennis, mm. and it's part of my component. Yes. But it's not my mission. Yes. So what I'm, what I'm trying to say, uh, I told you, Many people, they like to do so many things. The only thing is that you have to uh, know what is the direction, what's you, the, the uh, directive, and what's the component. Mm -hmm. So how you are going to make your mission, secret mission life more desirable? How many more flavors are you going to use? Mm. So you differentiate from the rest. So when people come to you, you basically kill your competition. I don't have competition, mm -hmm. none. So when people come, and that's what I teach, I tell to people, when people come to you, uh, they have to know that they won't find anybody else like you. Yeah, and how, how do you, because I totally agree with you, and how do you get people to own that? to really own it and to bring that together because I think that they hear it, like there's no competition, but they don't believe it. Yeah, well, you're going to hear something that you don't want to hear, and many people don't want to hear, okay. but this is one thing that I discover. When you go to uh, semi there's a difference between courses and seminars and trainings, mm -hmm. and a lot of people don't have this distinction. They think it's the same thing. Mm. So. Uh, and something else is a transformational training. Mm. Um, I realize that if people don't, if you don't me measure the results, mm -hmm. if you don't give a follow up, if people don't don't continue working with uh, or uh, building whatever they want to build, um, they get short. For example, there are some people that tell you, "I teach you how to write your book." And they tell you how in a three-day seminar. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they go, good Sign luck. <laughs> and I hope you finish your book. Yeah, right, right. Uh, I don't do that. Mm -hmm. What I do is I give them the information mm -hmm. one day, and they have to take massive action during the week, working as a team with other people. Oh, that's great. That's great. Because you get a lot of insights with your team. Yes. And then the next um, week, you can measure the results. Yes. So the person knows that if they did good, bad, excellent, extraordinary, or what I call the wow result. Mm. Now, by work, keep working with people and other, um, with their team and other teams, always the 80-20 rule, you know the 80-20 yes. rule? Mm -hmm. Always 20% of the people that are going to exceed the expectations of, of everybody else. Yeah. And you learn from them, yeah. from them. Because you always are going to be the result of the expectation of your tribe. Yes. Always. Yes, I love that. And you saw it uh, at the Business Expert Forum. Yes. Once a person open up and start to use their hands and their, and their voice and their energy, people go like, Oh my God, I was thinking to just share my message, but as soon as I saw you, I was like, oh my God, I need to open my arms. I need to, to uh, speak louder. Right. I need to really put more energy. Yes. Exactly. So that's one of the things I discovered. You, you have to have a follow-up yes. and make sure that the results. And the real transformation comes when you see yourself growing week after week yes. after week. Yes. And you make this journey inside of discovering the purpose of your mind, the passion of your heart, and the significance of your spirit. So this is the one mistake I've seen uh, when I come to take some courses in the States. They go like, write your book about your passion. 
Well, guess what? I have a lot of passions. Yes. You've done a lot of writing. You have your expertise in these different platforms. How can people find your books, read your books, find out more about you and about the Transformational Thank Academy? Thank you. Uh, they can do it in Amazon. Okay. Uh, my books that are in Amazon. Reclaim Your Personal Power. Are, and excuse me. Are they in English and Spanish? They're in Spanish. They're in Spanish. Okay. But uh, if anyone is interested in doing something, I'll tell you what. I, I live in a... Um, uh, in Mexico City. Yeah. Actually, uh, after Business Expert Forum, a lot of people there are coming to Mexico. Nice. So they take a trip, they discover the secret mission in life, yeah. and they help them to 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 uh, make a, a real business uh, with their secret mission in life. Nice. So they can come. I have the secret transformational forest. Okay. So they can come and, and stay with me, mm -hmm. and they can come for a week, and I help them to create all this and given the ideas, I have the tools, and it's a lot less expensive because remember, the exchange rate with Mexico is almost 20 per one. Wow, wow, so where do, where do they find, is it Carlos Carrera? Yeah, they can find, find me in uh, www.carloscarrera.mx. MX, we'll put that on the, on the, yes. on the bumper. And they right. can get in touch with me, uh, they can call me and say, hey Carlos, I saw you with Heather, and I always love to have to work with Americans because I need to practice my English because I spend too much time in Oh, in your Mexico. English is very good. Although Thank I you. love to hear Thank you speak you. Spanish. I was, as I said, I was very jealous when you got to introduce the other speakers in Spanish. I said, oh, I want him to introduce mine in Spanish. <laughs> but yes. I want to thank you so much for coming. No, thank you. And really acknowledge you for all of the work that you're doing to help people because I think people really want what you have to offer. And, you know, we all want to feel like we have significance, that we have direction, that we're contributing to the world in a positive way and that we don't have to give up the things that we love that make us feel excited but that we can bring them together yes it's very important work so i really want to acknowledge you and thank you for sharing that thank you and not just that uh i can help people to discover their secret mission in life and i have a system to start to make from ten thousand dollars up to a hundred thousand per month wow because uh, remember my uh, my background is in um, selling yes. and untangibles to make it tangible. Nice. And now with all this technology and everything, it's easier than ever. Yes. Easier than ever. And I have systems, I have formulas. Mm -hmm. So I've been tra taking trainings with the best. The best of the best. Mm -hmm. And now you are a top mentor. Thank you. Yeah. One last question, Carlos. What does it mean to you to thrive? Uh, go all the way to give your life i always tell to people i'm willing to give my life for my mission mm. when you are not afraid to die when you say this is my mission mm -hmm. and i'm willing to give my entire life mm. people feel that yes you have more energy when everybody else is already tired you just are about to start yeah because you feel that you really you are a hero you are not ordinary. Mm -hmm. You came to this world to make the difference and people feel it. Yeah. And when you do it, you pay the full price, not half, the full price. And when you do it, the law of cause and effect always is going to work in, 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 in your favor. Mm -hmm. There's no accidents. Always law of cause and effect will work in your favor. Go all in. All the way. All the way. So if you always hesitate, that means that you haven't found your secret mission in life. Uh -huh. You have to know the reasons. So uh, I, I shared this last thing. Another mistake that I see people do is one thing is the mind, one thing is the heart, and something else is the spirit. Mm. And people don't, most people don't synchronize these three. Mm -hmm. If that ever happened to you that your mind wants something, yes. uh, but your heart say no, yeah. or your heart say yes, but you shouldn't do it. Yeah. And the people that they are like too much mind, they suffer. Mm -hmm. The people that are too much heart, they suffer. Mm -hmm. And the people that they don't know what's their secret mission, or you know, where spiritual beings having a, a human experience, when they don't discover their the way how they're going to serve, give, share, and be more valuable, which that means that your purpose goes in one direction, your passion goes in another direction. And sometimes they don't know if they should serve in a certain way. Mm. What I do is I help people to synchronize the three. Nice. Purpose, passion, and significance. And when you do that, 
you get into what I call a maximum commitment with life. Thrive. Awesome. And on that note, I hope that you thrive and everybody that hears your message is touched deeply. I know they will be. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me here. Absolutely. And thank you all for joining us. And as always, until next time, here's to hitting all your high notes. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. everyone, it's Heather again. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Thrive. Every week we try to bring you people and information to help you change your life for the better, to grow your business, to expand your thinking, and to open your heart. If you did enjoy this content, I would so appreciate it if you would go to iTunes and review us. Let us know how we're doing. We'd love to hear your thoughts and your feedback. And if you found this information helpful or useful in any way, please share it on out. Let your friends and family know about Thrive. And finally, if you'd like to know more about me, you can visit me at heatherpaduska.com. Until next time, here's to hitting all your high notes.